Welcome to uh, East Surrey College and the Motor Vehicle Department. Um, I'm Carl Bundy, I'm one of the lecturers here at the college and I want to give you a short tour around uh, the uh, workshop we have here. On the tool board over here you can see the various different measuring tools that we use um, and all the equipment required for that. Within this area we also have a tyre machine. Um, this uh, is for removing and refitting of tyres. It can do uh, all types of tyres, everything from a normal road tyre to a high performance tyre has those facilities. And next to that we also have a tyre balancer or wheel balancer that is designed to take out the uh, unbalanced parts of a wheel when it's rotating at high speed. This uh, particular facility is uh, designed uh, for all the students to fabricate a hand tool to a specification. They will use a um, plan and mark out their work and then then cut and shape their tool uh, appropriately according to the plan dimensions. This you can see here is a, uh, a pad saw Okay, and this is uh, something that the level two students would actually be um, expected to make as part of their qualification. Uh, in the corner here, we've got a pillar drill, which is used within the fabrication area, and it's used for the cutting or the drilling uh, out of the component um, parts for the hand tool that you're expected to make. What we get students to do here is to literally uh, completely strip an engine and uh, inspect the components and rebuild. Um, it's a good little exercise to get your hand skills and also to get your full understanding of what you were learning in the classroom in relation to engine components. Along here what you can actually see is some of the tools that we have. This is only a very very small selection of tools that we have. Um, in here, these black cases here are Halfords tools that have been kindly donated by Halfords. Uh, we encourage all our students to use the tools. There's nothing locked away for students to uh, not access. It's access for everybody. We encourage you to use them, but uh, we want you to get the full uh, experience of what it's like to be a mechanic in this workshop. Alongside that we have some specialist tools as well uh, such as this is an oil pressure uh, tester gauge so we can check a running engine for oil pressure. Uh, also we've got some fuel system testing equipment and we have several uh, electronic devices here and our main one is this device here it's called a launch and it is a diagnostic uh, tablet that we can plug into the car and actually interrogate the systems on the car just as a mechanic would do to diagnose any faults or to get any live readings that are actually happening on the vehicle when the vehicle is running. Also, uh, we do have within the workshop um, for um, some students who uh, have the opportunity to use uh, our facility of the motorcycles. These uh, are for specific courses, um, but uh, stu those students will be able to strip and rebuild the motorcycle and identify the various components within their systems. And if I take you over to this area here, which is our ramps, we've got several ramps in the uh, workshop. Before you actually use one of these ramps, you'll be fully trained. Um, to be able to be competent in using it very, very quickly. And you will do the main bulk of your work under one of these ramps. Uh, a lot of the work underneath will be to do with exhaust systems and um, servicing of the vehicle. So getting used to using industry standard ramps is something that we're very, very keen to encourage you to use. From working underneath the vehicle, we can use, still use the same ramp space uh, for working underneath the bonnet. We can also carry out servicing and any other under bonnet repairs. So it's really a convenient space for you to use where you get access to every part of the car as we are um, working on it. This facility we have here is for four wheel alignment and this is for checking the, uh, not only the front wheels of the vehicle, but also for checking the rear as well. Because a lot of modern vehicles now, you can do adjustments all around the car 
to do with wheel alignment. Wheel alignment is very important on a vehicle because it will affect the way the car steers and handles, but also your tyre wear. This particular facility is able to check all of the angles on the vehicle and display it on a screen where we can then and make adjustments on the vehicle and that can then be seen straight away as you're making those adjustments you can see the change happening on the vehicle alongside this area we have for doing our wheel alignment we also store our engines um, these are engines that you can use uh, to work on and actually the, the ones that we talk about stripping and rebuilding and we will show you all the technical aspects of setting up the engine correctly so that it will actually operate and, and function in the right way. Um, it's a nice facility because you can take your time, it's not actually in the engine bay itself, you can take your time to actually strip, inspect and rebuild and have a good um, time sort of understanding the processes of an engine. So this facility here is what we call an open workshop classroom. Uh, this is where your tutor can actually um, give you a live lesson and you'll be able to take part in that lesson uh, as a group uh, and get some understanding about what you are learning about and taking a part in the workshop. Uh, it'll be fully explained to you. But alongside that, we can also incorporate our testing facilities. We have a testing board here, which is all to do with fuel injection. And we can actually get the students to come up and use various electronic testing devices to actually check um, components for their operational uh, capabilities uh, whilst in a live lesson, whilst everybody else is um, engaged with your uh, learning and understanding. Let's leave our live lesson area now and I will take you over to our other facility uh, which is a brake testing um, facility for checking the performance of your brakes on the car. Students on some of the courses may well be using this as part of their studies to test the performance of the brakes that they've actually worked on. You may be familiar with this but if you're not this is a facility that a garage would have for testing brakes for an MOT. And how it works is the rollers will turn and then the, which in turn will turn the wheels and then the driver will apply the brake uh, when told by the uh, computer and then that will give a performance reading on the display and then the garage uh, mechanic will then decide whether that is within the specification required for braking. Now I'm gonna show you the cars that we have available outside also have a, a, a spare vehicles out in the uh, yard area that we use for all our students to um, get the full understanding of different types of vehicles within the industry. Um, it's very important that all students get an understanding that um, even though a car is a car, they have different features within them and that will give you uh, a better insight of how to repair and look after those particular components. We do have a School Links programme which is for 14 to 16 year old uh, students and they have an opportunity to come in and work with us and also have an opportunity to have a go working on our go-karts that we have here. Welcome to our motorsport workshop. Um, I'm going to give you a short tour of this uh, facility. As you can see it is slightly smaller than what we have over the other side but it's a bit more unique in what we do. We actually specialise in um, the motorsport area and we do have some race cars um, currently in different states of build. Um, I'd like to show you the first one here is that Ford Fiesta. This uh, Fiesta is uh, currently uh, under a build of having the electrical wiring done to it by the students. It's had an engine um, rebuilt and installed, so we're now just waiting to get that prepared to start for starting. The yellow uh, Toyota that we have here is a vehicle that was donated to us and um, we have now converted this into a uh, full race car with a roll cage. We actually manufacture those roll cages here and students will have that opportunity to have to develop uh, their skills by using that facility to actually bend tubing. The roll cage is really, really important in the car. It helps protect the race driver from any accident that they have by making sure that they're in a safety cage environment. The last car that we have on the, uh, here is uh, the white Toyota. This uh, is uh, currently our operational car that we use for track days. 
but it uh, has been out racing as well. Um, it's uh, a really robust car that uh, students get to use um, at the circuit by working on them in the pit lane. It gives them more of a realistic environment. Um, we use our local circuit Brad's Hatch to actually um, uh, to undertake that sort of um, work. During the time here at the college, not only will you be working on our race cars, but you'll also be working on normal production cars. We need to get your skills developed so that you actually can work on race cars in a proficient way so that when you're at the track, you are able to work as a team and work uh, in, a, in a controlled and safe way. As part of your uh, level three experience on this course, um, you will be expected to be able to work as a diagnostic technician as well. So we have the facility here to be able to put faults onto this engine and use this computer equipment to be able to diagnose different types of faults that actually develop your skills to become a um, very good technician within fast diagnosis of faults. So, um, to show you uh, what we also have as a facility here is the uh, tube bender uh, for making our roll cages. I've got a, a section of roll cage here and you can actually see there's curves that have been developed and we need to use this device here to be able to make those curves. So we have the facility to actually um, produce roll cages, have them welded and then fit them into the car, which is a very unique thing that we do here at the college. I want you as a student to be able to learn about performance enhancement on vehicles and the different methods of achieving that. And this uh, particular uh, a quick piece of equipment can actually show you uh, the differences that can be made to the cylinder head and its performance just by using airflow and measuring that airflow within the cylinder head itself. I just wanted to show you some of the things that our students have made uh, from their learning experience here at the college. Uh, we've got the parts, as I showed you earlier, about how to make a uh, a roll cage um, by bending the tube. This is uh, some parts of the roll cage that is in a near completion state and also we're encouraging our students to actually build a single seat race car from plans and students have developed this car uh, by making all the components and welding them and uh, we are developing this car um, every time students come in with a new uh, task to be done. Well, thank you very much for coming on the tour with me. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Um, if you want any further information, please uh, visit the website.